Hello everybody, Kia one skewed here, and in today's video we're going to be going- <laughs> Wow! Hello everybody, Kia one skewed here, and in today's video we're going to be going over the Hack and Slash Warrior, the Samurai of Maple, the Hayato class. And in the beginner tab we have Master of Blades which will increase your speed, your maximum speed that you can reach, your jump, your I almost said knuckle. Katana Mastery, as well as your willpower. Shimada Heart, which will increase your damage based on how much defense you have. And then it'll also give you a little bit of defense. As you can see, I have 9,000 something defense, and I'm getting a 46% damage increase. So pretty good. I wish they removed the cap on defense, but you know what? It's fine. Moving on, we have the Link Skill, which will give you all stat as well as 15... <laughs> I almost said 15%. It'll give you all stat as well as attack increase. And magic attack for, you know, in case you want to move it to a mage. And then we have quick draw, which will put you into a quick stance, basically. And change your attacks. Or one of your attacks. Uh, and also your flash jump, really. Your flash jump usually looks like this. But in quick stance, you cannot use it. You have to use the uh, dash. But I'll explain that. Actually, I'll explain it now. So to do the dash, you press left twice or you press right twice. Summer Rain is basically like a full screen attack. It's really awesome. You can only use it when your energy is all the way full though. As well as Itokiri 100 Strike, which again, you can only use when you're at a thousand energy. And um, yeah, it's basically the same as the other skill. It also gives you a damage buff for using it for two minutes. So moving on to the sword energy, every time you attack, or every time you attack in quick stance, or every time you hit an enemy, you will gain two energy. So you can see I'm getting two energy, which is pretty helpful for bossing. For mobbing though, you want to make sure you're not in quick stance, because every time you kill an enemy, <laughs> I should not be doing this here. Um, Every time you kill an enemy... Let me just make sure I kill these guys. There we go. You will gain 5 energy. So if you're mobbing, make sure you're not in quick stance so that you gain more energy. And if you're bossing, make sure you're in quick stance. Well, most of the time. You want to be in quick stance so you're gaining uh, sword energy. And uh, yeah, I think that's it for beginner tab. Oh, I should also mention... In um, normal stance, you gain 40% knockback resist as well as some other bonuses. You can see them there. And then in quick stance, you gain different bonuses. So you actually gain more knockback resist if you're in quick stance rather than in um, normal stance. So 40% normal. Oh, I need energy. There we go. Or maybe that was lag. Either way. And then 80% in quick stance. So in quick stance, you gain boss damage, attack speed, as well as crit rate. And also a chance to stun, but yeah, pretty nice. So, going back to first job, make sure I put that there, you get Sanrenzan, which is your main mobbing skill. Or, I should say your main attacking skill. Because once you go into quick stance, it then becomes blade flash. Now, the main difference between first to fourth job's uh, version of this skill is that it just gets more range. That's basically it. So I won't really talk about this skill too much after this, but yeah. Um, Surging Blade. Now, this skill used to be... <laughs> I used to love it a lot. Um, but then they updated it, and I don't really like it anymore. I mean, I do like it for a repositioning tool. But, um... Yeah, basically you can do four slashes. I don't usually do the fourth one because there's a bit of time before you can do another uh, slash. But um, you can do four slashes, you can no longer change direction with it. But you can still do like three slashes and then do like a short pause and then continue doing the three slashes again. And it also pushes enemies along as you hit them. So like this. As you can see, it pushes uh, both me and the enemies. 
I still prefer the old one, but it's okay. This is a passive that increases your strength and dex. This is your flash jump. So you just double press jump. And then when you're in uh, quick stance, it turns into dash, which you just press left or right uh, twice. And then we have Shoryusen, which will toss enemies into the air. I don't really use this skill, like, ever, but I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like. So there you go. You can also combo it with future skills. So you can combo with that, you can combo with this. Oh, someone's or someone else is here. <laughs> but yeah, you can combo it with uh, other skills. It's pretty nice. Again, I don't use it. I don't know why I said it's pretty nice. I don't like it. <laughs> but it'll tell you what skills it can combo with. And then there's Batojutsu Advance, which I personally don't use ever. Um, but basically what it does is it puts you into a stance where you have to use the whole thing. So here's the stance. If I press it again, I do the first part. And then if I keep pressing it, it'll keep going through all of the other skills. And yeah. Now, the main reason I don't use it is because I can get the... Okay, hold on. Let me, let me first explain what it does. So aside from those attacks, with every attack that it does, it gives you a damage bonus. Or percent attack power, it says, but yeah. Um, so the main reason I don't use this skill is because you can also get the bonuses just from using the skills that are within that skill. So you can see the list of skills that it can use. I could just use Surging Blade and get the buff that way. Or I can use, I don't know, another skill that's in there and get the uh, buff. However, normally I just use Surging Blade to get the buff just because it's the quickest thing to use. And yeah. Once the buff hits the max stacks of 8, you can no longer refresh the duration of it. And it can't go any higher than 8 and it'll just run out until it refreshes again. Or until it goes back down to 0 and then you have to restack it again. I wouldn't worry too much about stacking it though. Um, it'll stack if you just play the class normally. Like, if you're just using your skills. And that's it for first job. That actually took a while to go over first job, I'm sorry about that. So, in second job, you get a longer range version of the main skill. And same thing in bossing stance. But then we move on to your first buff. Which will increase your HP, MP, and attack power, as well as speed and jump. And then we have Vapor Blade, which will launch you into the air. This skill used to be terrible. <laughs> Not terrible, but it used to have a lot of ending lag. It seems like they got rid of that though. However, I still use um, the main attack in the air to cancel the ending so that I can use another skill. Because if you use, uh, what was it? If you use Vapor Blade alone, you can't really act out of it um, if, you be if you start falling. So I can act out of it like going up, but as soon as you start descending, you can't use another skill. So what I end up doing is I use another skill, uh, like the main attack, but only once. And by doing that, I can use other skills anytime, even if I'm descending. You can also activate the skill by pressing up twice. I wish we can take that off by right clicking. No way! Oh, I didn't know they added that! Ooh! Okay. <clears throat> Back into recording mode. <laughs> oh my god. Booster. Increases your attack speed by two. Uh, Unfaltering Blade is a passive that increases your crit damage by 30%. Rising Slash, I never really use it. Um, it does look cool, but I, I just don't really use it. Um, you could use it while in the air as well. It just, it can hit above you. I guess that's the useful part of it, but I, I don't really ever use this skill. You can also combo it with a uh, Falcon Dive, which is the next skill I'm going to go over. Which will just launch you in the air, or like a little bit in the air and then dive down. So that's this skill. And as you can see, if you use it on the ground, it does like a jump. But if you use it in the air, it does a jump as well. So what you can do with that is you can reach platforms that you wouldn't normally be able to reach by doing Vapor Blade into one hit of the main attack and then use Falcon. And that would look like this. So jump and use uh, Vapor Blade. You can see it does not reach that platform. 
However, I can reach it with Falcon. I mean, I guess you don't have to do the uh, main attack in the middle of it. I just got so used to doing it. So I guess you could just do that, but... <laughs> I got so used to using uh, the main attack after Vapor Blade that it's just ingrained in into me now. So yeah, that's second job. Moving on to third job, we have... I mean, the third job version of the main attack, which is longer ranged. Same goes for the bossing skill. Uh, Sweeping Sword has some invincibility, but only to like old style attacks like Pink Beans attacks or uh, I guess normal Hilla, normal and hard Hilla, but not, you know, not like Varus or anything. Like no percent HP attacks basically. Um, oh, also it'll drag in enemies to your location. So if I were to hit, let's say, these guys out here, it'll pull them to you. And yeah, it's a good mobbing tool. It can also stall you in the air. So if you ever want to just not fall, you can also use that to stall. And then we have Whirling, uh, Whirling, Whirlwind Cut, which will push you and the enemies forward. I love comboing this with uh, certain skills. For instance, Don Kusen, which I'll be going over shortly. You can combo it like that. But yeah, as you can see, it can like push enemies. So again, another mobbing tool that can like reposition enemies. And then we have Willow Dodge, which there's a 90% chance that when you evade taking damage, that this skill will activate and give you a damage boost. Um, of 6%, which stacks 5 times, so 30% if you, you know, dodge 5 times. There is a 35% chance for the evasion to activate, though. And then we have Merciless Blade, which will put a, um, actually, I don't... Is that it? That might be the leading one. Well, anyway, it'll, uh, cause damage over time on enemies when you hit them. And then we have Warrior's Heart, which, when you crit... Uh, every time you crit, there's a 40% chance that you can also heal HP. And then later you get a skill that increases your crit rate. And then we have Don Kusen, which is just a dash through your enemies, does damage as you do so, and can com be comboed with a lot of skills. Like, a lot of them. Like, uh, pfft, boy oh boy. <laughs> So I can combo with this, like I said. Um, by the way, speaking of comboing, um, this class has like a, a buffer system, pretty much. So let's say I press uh, Shoryusen and then I do the dash. I'm literally pressing them one after the other and then I'm just like not touching my keyboard. It'll just automatically do it the first frame that it's available. So I can actually combo these three without actually pressing my keyboard. Or, <laughs> without pressing my keyboard, what? Without uh, pressing my keyboard more than, like... A anyway, it it's a it's a buffer system, so like, you press two skills and it'll automatically come out because you pressed them already. Um, so let's see, I think that's it. Yep. So, moving on to fourth job. Oh my god, I thought I wasn't recording for a second. Alright, so fourth job. As you can see, the attack range is very long. And then your bossing skill is uh, also very long. I think the range is like right here. However, it's very horizontal, so enemies can actually jump over it very easily. But it is very strong, very fast. Oh, you know what I forgot to mention about uh, quick stance? This aura does damage. And if you are fighting a boss that does damage, uh, damage reflect, this will get you killed. So watch out for that. This will kill you with, uh, you know, it does not ignore damage reflect. So yeah, I hope they fix that someday. Don't think they ever will, but still. And then we have Shinsoku, which you can only use in quick stance. Uh, it's not a very useful skill. It, it is if you're like doing max damage or you're close to doing max damage. But, like, otherwise, uh, the, the best benefit I could see is, like, that it recovers your 
what do you call it, faster, your sword energy, but like... I, it's, it's... you get skills later for that. Like, don't... Shinsoku's basically useless. <laughs> basically. Unless, of course, you're... the enemy that you're attacking has a damage cap, like, I don't know, Lucid Golems or something. Where you would want to do, like, faster attacks rather than do more damage. Um, and then we have Hitokiri Strike. I don't know why I keep leaving the map. I, sh I might as well just stay in there. <laughs> so Hitokiri Strike will increase your crit rate by 45%. As you can see, I'm at 20, uh, 21%. Oh, that's not Hitokiri Strike. And then you use Hitokiri Strike. Looks really cool. And now I'm at 66% crit rate. And let me go ahead and heal. Um, so next we have... Oh, actually that's not it for Hitokiri Strike. After using Hitokiri Strike, you get the buff, as you can see up here. Once that runs out though, or... While that's uh, available to... Oh, my goodness, I need to... I'm gonna cut that part out. <clears throat> so while Hitokiri Strike is on cooldown, you get the short version of it, which is Hitokiri Strike Angle. Which will allow you to use Hito Kitty Strike again, but it will not give you the crit rate bonus. Instead, you get a diagonal movement skill, basically. You could use it upwards, or if you hold down, you can use it downwards. Like that. So you'll see soon. Oh, and there's a six second cooldown for that version of Hito Kitty, Hito Kitty Strike. And then, as you can see, when Hito Kitty Strike is back up, it then goes back to the horizontal version, which gives you the uh, the crit rate. I should also mention that it does actually give you three seconds of iframes. So also very useful for that. Not this version though, not the diagonal version. I think that's mainly just for getting around or mobbing. So then we move on to Jinsoku, which when you dodge an enemy attack, there's a 45% chance that the damage will be reduced. And of course, it passively reduces, uh, increases your avoidability. So that can be pretty useful. I don't know if that works on percent HP. I highly doubt it, but it might. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't tested it. But yeah, that's good. Uh, Cleaver, another passive, increases your damage by 30%, as well as your defense ignored by 35%. Maple Warrior, or I'm sorry, Akatsuki Warrior, which increases you and your party's all stat by 15%. And then Hero's Will, which will redu <laughs> reduce, it'll remove abnormal status that- I just bit my tongue. <laughs> I'm keeping that in. So it'll reduce, uh, oh my god, I said it again. It'll remove abnormal status from you and make you immune to abnormal status for three seconds. Eye for an eye is a toggle skill. Pretty much always have it on. Um, when you avoid an enemy attack, it'll do a counter attack that can also hit multiple enemies. Blood letter. This will, uh, pfft. I, I guess, I guess that's what this is. Oops, I killed them. So I guess that's what, oh my god, I can't, can't get it to activate. There we go. So I guess that's what this is, but I, I thought that that was the third job skill, uh, this one. But yeah, I don't know, maybe that's just a straight up upgrade for it. But, um, yeah, it just does damage over time. Oh, yeah, there it is. It says it right there. So, yeah, it's just a better version of a uh, third job skill. Tornado Blade, which has the same properties as Sweeping... Sweeping Sword? Sweeping Slash? What was it called? Sweeping Sword, which it can avoid uh, certain attacks, like from Pink Bean or uh, like pretty much old style attacks, not percent HP attacks. It can also pull in enemies from both sides of your character. And then I think it pushes them in front of you. It does have a cooldown though, but it's very short, only 10 seconds. Very good damage on it as well. Sudden Strike. This will put a debuff on enemies. You can see it right there, it has like a gray skull. The honor of gray skull. Um, and that'll make it so that you and your party members do more damage to that enemy. It also works on bosses. And then finally we have Iron Skin which will increase your abnormal status, as well as uh, elemental resistance. Moving on to 
hyper passives. Do not do what I did. Um, I would not recommend putting into Shinsoku because the skill is, again, like I said, not that useful. Unless, of course, you want to rapid fire. It only hits one enemy, by the way, this skill. So that's another drawback to it. But yeah, I would not do this. Instead, I would save this point. Um, what I would do, however, is do all three of Hitikuri Strike, give it one extra line, reduce the cooldown, as well as increase the duration of the crit rate uh, buff that it gives you. And then I would put the last two points into extra an extra hit of Sudden Strike, as well as increase the damage of Sudden Strike, because you're, you are going to be using it pretty often. Um, you don't care about how many mobs it hits, so don't, don't do that. <laughs> Alright, moving on to active skills. At 140, you'll get God of Blades, which will give you 50 attack for 30 seconds and increase your abnormal status and elemental resist by 100, which is a lot. Like, right now, I have 50% reduction to abnormal status. However, when I use the skill, now I have 62% reduction of abnormal status on my character. That is crazy. That is really good. Pull down of 90 seconds. Falcon's Honor. This skill, I love it because it'll recharge 100 of your sword energy just for using it. And the cooldown is extremely short, only 8 seconds. It's also good as a mobbing skill. Um, I mean, it doesn't do like crazy damage, but you can also use it like just to hit enemies above you. And below you, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, it's very good, uh, especially for recharging energy. So I would use it pretty much every time it's off cooldown. And then in fifth job, which of course I haven't gotten to yet, uh, there is a skill that cancels out of it, so you don't have to spend a lot of time like in that animation. But anyway, yeah, it's very good. And then at level 190... Wait, did I say... I said 160, right? Whatever. At level 190, you get Princess's Vow, which will increase you and other Sengoku classes in your party's damage by 10%. Cooldown is 2 minutes. And now, wait, no, since I went over hypers, let's go over hyper stat. Because why not? Even though hyper stat on every class is basically the same, unless. Did someone just follow me? Oh, thank you. I don't know how to say that name. Uh, Sage Foxwood. Thank you very much for the follow on Twitch. Um, did not did not think I had alerts on, <laughs> but thank you. You just got a shout out, I guess. Um, I don't know if they watch me on YouTube, but anyway, uh, hyper hyper stats. So I would say like I don't know. Damage, and then crit rate if you think you need it. Like, you know, you want to have 100% if you want. Um, and then maybe crit damage, boss damage if you're bossing a lot. Ignore defense. And then finally, depending on what you want, you can do extra EXP if you're training, or attack if you want more damage. Why am I going over, I've, why am I going over hyper stats in these, in these videos? I shouldn't. Because, like, it really varies where you are. Anyway, th this isn't a hyper stat video. <laughs> Um, but I will go over the Legion effect, which is on what button? There it is. So Hayato, where's my Hayato? I think it gives crit damage. So Hayato's Legion effect gives crit damage, and at level 200, gives you 5% crit damage. Very, very useful there. I need to pick up my coin soon. So I think that's all I want to mention. I'm pretty sure I mentioned the sword thing. Um, the sword energy. Oh, I never showed off the uh, that one skill. Oh, I'll show it now uh, while I go into fifth job skills. So let me take this off first. This hopefully isn't making it into the video. <laughs> all, all this extra. It might. I might get lazy and not edit that part out. But anyway. So moving on to fifth job. We have Battle Jutsu Zanko, which is well, used to be the first skill that they got. Um, this skill charges up, what was it, 700 energy? Yeah, 700 energy when you use it, and you're invincible when you use it. It is such a cool looking skill. Like, look at this. Oh, and then it does damage afterwards. Oh, it's so cool. And then, of course, it gave me 700 energy. Um, so I never actually showed the beginner skill. So here's Sword Rain. Wait, where did I put the skill? Right there. So there's Sword Rain. And then you can see it gave me a two minute damage buff. Um, but yeah, back to fifth job. 
Um, very short cooldown of only 90 seconds. And yeah, very strong skill. Definitely heavy burst skill. Amazing. Gives you sword energy, so it's just perfect. Invincibility, I love it. Uh, and then we have the second skill, which is Iaijutsu Flame. <laughs> flame? What? Blade Flash. Iaijutsu Blade Flash. I almost said Flame again. I don't know why. Which takes up 200 of your energy um, to be able to do a slash. That slash will give you a buff. Mine is a very short duration. But as you increase the level, the buff duration goes up. But um, it gives you final damage just for using it. And it is a good reason to use uh, Falcon's Honor. Because it takes up a lot of energy. Well, unless of course you have it max and then it lasts longer so you don't have to spam it. But yeah. Definitely recommend leveling this because <laughs> the duration right now is only 15 seconds, which is not enough. Like, that is, that is really bad at level 1. So definitely max this. Very important. Bato Jutsu Ultimate Will, God of Blades. Oh, I don't have enough combo. Hold on a second. There we go. So, in order to summon him, you do need to have at least 150 energy in your sword. And pretty much what he does is he just attacks enemies around him. And every time he attacks an enemy, he, well, okay, every time he attacks a boss, he gives you uh, sword energy when he disappears. However, when with enemies, he has to actually kill them to be able to give you energy. I should double check on that before I actually say that. <laughs> so let me see. So there you go, he disappeared, so he gave me sword energy. Um, so let's see. So you get 8 energy for every enemy killed, but when bossing, you get 10 energy every time it attacks. So yeah, like I said. The cooldown again, pretty short. Only 2 minutes. Well, okay, 2 minutes isn't that short, but like to me that's short because I'm used to like 300 seconds or like, you know, really long uh, cooldown of certain skills. But yeah, uh, the max energy it can give you is 800. But yeah, very good, especially if you just want to like hold back on one platform, or like, watch one side of the map or something, like, put it right here. It'll attack enemies over that side, and then you can go to this side and do damage. Um, oh, you can also end the skill early by pressing it again. I forgot to mention that. So if you press it again, it'll automatically do the final slash and give you whatever energy it has stocked up. I'm um, not really sure why you would do that, but anyway. <laughs> uh, then we have Instant Slice, the newest fifth job skill. And this skill is just, I mean, it is what it says. It's an instant slice. When you press the skill, by the way, it has a very short cooldown of 15 seconds, um, you will slice the screen. And it pretty much hits like the whole screen, almost, almost the whole screen. And um, this can also be used to cancel out certain animations. So Falcon's Honor, remember how I said it has a very long animation that you have to go through? You can actually cancel that animation with uh, instant slap, in instant slice. So here's uh, here's me using it without instant slice. I'm gonna hold right so that I move the moment I can. I'm holding right, and you can see that it took that long for me to start walking again. However, if I use instant slice, I can then move much sooner, and the attack still comes out. Uh, instant slice also reduces the. Um, end leg of Hitokiri Strike, the fifth job skill, I didn't have it off cooldown, <laughs> but um, yeah, it, it'll reduce the end leg of a lot of skills. And let's see, what else, what else, what else? Yeah, I guess that's about it. Okay, so it doesn't really, it doesn't really cancel the end lag of a, uh, what do you call it, the beginner skill. But I mean, it cancels a lot of other skills. What I wish though, is that we can use it while using our bossing skills. Like, oh my goodness, I wish I could just use it while doing this. That would be so nice. But you do have to do like a short pause before you activate it. Um, and I think that's it. I guess I'll go over the... Uh, what do you call it? What other things called? <laughs> my goodness. Genshin's taken over my life. I forgot what nodes are. What nodes are. 
All right, give me a moment. All right, so looking at boost nodes, the skills I would max would be, or like what would be the perfect trio, I guess, would be, um, is this three or four? Oh, here's four. So I would do the main attack, the other main attack, and then maybe sudden strike? That seems right to me. For your main one, and then for the second one, maybe... I don't know. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, wait. Falcon's Honor. Hold on, hold on. Remember what I said about Sudden Strike? Uh, I might actually put Falcon's Honor in there instead. Maybe. Uh, mm, yeah. Maybe? Yeah, 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 because you do use it pretty often. I'm not sure, actually. Oh, my God. And I'm supposed to be making guides? <laughs> I can't give guides on things I don't know. Well, I mainly do these videos for fun and helping people out, so. Uh, but yeah, I would say the two main attacks and maybe Falcon's Honor. However, however, Falcon's Honor, hmm, because I'm seeing more reasons to use it on Sudden Strike. No, just use it on Falcon's Honor. <laughs> Sudden Strike can be on the second note, uh, second boost note, which I guess would be like Sudden Strike, uh, Don Kusa? Okay, Sudden Strike, Hito Kitty Strike, and uh, yeah, I don't know. Choose, choose whatever third skill you want. <laughs> choose whatever third skill you want. Anyway, I think that's it. Um, God, this video ended up a lot longer than I wanted it to be. I was trying to make this video like 25 minutes. Then I started rambling. Oh my God, I'm gonna have to edit out so much. Or maybe I'll just leave it in because, I don't know, I found it funny. <laughs> so, hopefully I don't break my promise this time. It wasn't even really, really a promise. But, um, hopefully I do, um, do what I say I'm gonna do and make a short version of these videos. Like a TLDR of um, this series. Because you know, nobody wants to sit through like an hour of me talking about how to play a class. They wanna just play it. <laughs> or maybe they do like the sound of my voice, I don't know. But uh, mobbing is pretty much whatever you want, to, want it to be. You can only use the main attack if you want for mobbing. Which, again, you can move while doing it, so that could be pretty nice. Um, or you can do it the fancy way, especially if you're really funded and can one-shot with the skills. Um, you can do it like this, which is just using like all of your skills. Like, you could... But yeah. Did I mention... Oh my god, I don't remember if I mentioned this in this video or the previous attempt at me recording this. But uh, you can actually travel through town very quickly if you use Surging Blade and Don Kusen. So one hit of Surging Blade and then Don Kusen. You could do Don Kusen twice technically. So what you do is you do Surging Blade, Don Kusen, Surging Blade, Don Kusen. And if you do it at a, you know, not really fast speed, but like at a slowish speed, you can actually do Don Kusen twice. Okay, I need to do it in town. I'm not walking. So this can be a very fast way to get through town. So... Just like that. So what I'm doing is I'm pressing Surging Blade, and then Don Kusen, and then while Don Kusen is in its animation, I'm pressing Surging Blade again. The game thinks I did another Surging Blade, so it automatically uses the other, or it uh, instantly does the other uh, Don Kusen. And this is a very fast way to travel. Or you can do, like, Don Kusen with that skill, or with, a uh, Falcon Dive or whatever. <laughs> there, there's a lot of, uh, fast ways to travel through town as a Hayato. Or you can just flash jump. Not very fast, but, I mean, you get places, I guess. And I think that'll do it for the video. Sorry that this one is so unorganized. I I just really wanted to get this video out there. Like, I, I've been trying to make this video for so long. 
And then I finally get time to just sit down and make it. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> so, I hope you enjoyed. Yeah, should I show some bossing? Yeah, you guys want to see some bossing? Um, I don't really know what boss to do. I'll do dojo or something. Uh, but yeah. This is a very, very nice class. So activate this. Make sure you get that passive on. Uh, activate that. And now we go. So you don't have to do this. I just do this to get sword energy. I usually use uh, the fifth job skill just to instantly get 700 energy. Cancel the animation, the end lag with a instant slice. And then I use Hito Kitty Strike for the lovely crit damage, or not crit damage, crit rate bonus. And then the rest is just whatever. And yeah, um, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope to see you in the next video. And uh, I don't even know what else to say. <laughs> oh goodness, these videos, they, they really are too long. One day I'll make them short, one day. I mean, I said I was going to do a short version of these videos a while back, and I just never did. I did a short version of the Horntail video, but I never did one for, uh, like, the skill videos. I definitely did this video way too casually. Like, I I've been trying to be a little more, like, professional sounding, I guess. Where, like, I don't ramble too often, and I don't, uh, hello? Oh. I just, uh... Yeah, this video, I just wanted to get it out there, so I was like, you know what, if it doesn't come out as serious as my usual videos, I'm just gonna, like, whatever. I'm just gonna upload it. It's okay. Nobody's perfect. I can't make the perfect video. <laughs> I can't make a short video. So anyway. Um, let's go ahead and summon this guy. Make sure we do this skill. Cancel the end lag of that. Cancel that guy so we get our sword energy. And yeah. Honestly, what I should have done is when I first used the fifth job skill on uh, Mano, what I should have done is uh, activate this skill. Because then I get a damage bonus for the rest of the floors. But anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope to see you in the next one. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I'm doing my stream outro. <laughs> um, thank you for watching the video. Uh, hope you enjoyed. And until next time, goodbye.